you'll be Instead of dreary, who you were Well, are There's nothing that can stop you From becoming popular Lar La 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 We're gonna make you pop You lur. What's up? It's Sunday and you're watching Ambiguity <laughs> There's a place I go to When no one knows it's not long. So if any of you guys are following the media around trans topics or transgender stuff and you might have seen this thing on social media that people are saying that being transgender is becoming trendy or a trend. No, but seriously, like, do you think that we want to be discriminated against? Do you think we want to be become victims of hate crimes? Do you think we want to be bullied at in school? Do you think we want to be... Oh my god, I just cannot believe people saying this. I think that people are just missing the point here. I think what's happening here is that there's more visibility for trans people, for trans folk. For example, um, Caitlyn Jenner. Everyone knows about her. She was on the cover of Vanity Fair. People know her story, and then there's this actress from um, from Orange Is the New Black. She has a main role right now, and she's trans and open about it. And then there are tons of videos on YouTube, like like what we are doing here, about people that are opening up about being transgender and showing and inviting people in their personal lives, and sharing and hopefully helping other people. I think that is what's happening right now. They're just we just know about more stories right now. We know about more people right now. And that's not a bad thing, I guess. I mean, of course I'm biased, but I don't think it is a bad thing. And it doesn't mean that it's becoming a trend. It's just, it just means that we know more about, about these people. And I think if it wasn't for them, I don't think, I don't think I would be sitting here right now. I don't think I had the courage to come to terms with myself and seeing that being transgender is not necessarily a bad thing. That that gen gender people are happy people. I mean, yeah, we we go through hell as well, but just like everyone else. But it's not. It doesn't end your life. I really used to think that that it was just like nah, like if you're transgender, then you're just fucked, <laughs> like for real. And seeing their stories and just being a part of their life somehow, I gave myself space to think about my own gender identity and and recognizing the feeling um, that I always had inside and saw that I wasn't alone in this. That there were so many other people out there who had the same thing and told me that it was okay and you're normal. It's just, it just has a name and it's transgender, but that's it, you know? So, do I think that being transgender is a trend or is fashionable? No, I don't think so. I don't think this is a choice. I don't think it's like, picking a new t-shirt from from some shop and just thinking like oh I want to have a red t-shirt right now I'm just gonna put it on this is my choice it's not like that it's not like we pick transgender and say like oh this is cool I'm just gonna put this on right now because it doesn't work like that it's not a choice and saying that transgender is trendy it implies that it is a choice that people are choosing it just because they think it's trendy, right? They think it's cool or special or different, whatever. It's fucking hard. It's awkward. It's difficult. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's scary. Once you're accepting yourself, it becomes something empowering. Like when you're accepting that part of you, like you feel really strong in some way. Even though you know, like it's gonna be a long way to get to the point where you finally feel more comfortable in your own body. For me at least, I started accepting myself more and like liking myself more, I guess. Recognizing I was not weird. Well, not in that way, because I'm weird in other ways, but that's something else. But if there are people out there that are claiming to be transgender just for attention and don't have dysphoria, gender dysphoria, all right, then I hope that they find the right support to figure out what's really going on inside their mind, because this can't be healthy for them and it's also not good for your trans community in general. So <laughs> I'm sorry for this little rant. This stuff just makes me really, yeah, makes me really mad. Some things just need to be said sometimes and I need to get this off my chest also, like. 
<sighs> All right, anyways, <laughs> next we'll be in Palestine together with my cameraman Chin over here. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way, for filming. And um, yeah, see you guys all next week on Sunday again. Later, weirdos! <laughs> Hit it, kick it, kick it, kick the fucking shit. No! <laughs> fucking hell, it's everywhere. Look how he does, it looks like, like an what? fucking idiot. What are you idiot. talking? <laughs>